Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. We've seen a bit of a price spike, a lot of hype on Twitter again, a lot of hype on YouTube about um, some news from the Ripple SEC court case, but um, nothing really that is um, game changing to the price at this stage at least. But uh, we've seen obviously a little bit of a spike as a result of that. Now, previously when we had these kind of news events, these small catalysts, um, especially since June, all of these rallies have been in three waves. Yeah, we, we should know that by now. And therefore, I'm really happy to be a bit late on this one to call a low because so far price action is only again in three waves to the upside here. And I prefer to see some further confirmation before indicating a low is in. Yes, we broke out of the descending wedge. That was for us an indication that we are in the larger fourth wave. Yeah. Um, I took out the micro count now, but we had uh, before the idea that we could get one more tiny low in the third wave, but a breakout of the wedge pattern would suggest we're already in the larger fourth wave. Now, we are now probably in this larger fourth wave because if I measure the retracements of the larger third wave, then you can see that we reacted perfectly to the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement at 46.2 cents. Now, that's an ideal target for a fourth wave. Um, it can still go a bit higher, absolutely, but a sustained break above 47.8 cents would then in the indeed indicate something a little bit more bullish. I would also like to see five waves up to indicate that we have a low in, but at the moment I don't see five waves up. Yeah, So at the moment we even get an overlap here between this spike and this low. So that again would confirm that there is some weakness in the chart and you can see the red or bearish reaction to resistance. All of that for me indicates that we are only in a correction to the upside, that we witnessed something like an ABC structure to the upside and that there's a significant risk that this is going to break down again. That would overall anyway be in line with our expectation to see here um, at least one more low to the downside, okay? Now, in this fourth wave, we are probably looking here at an ABC structure. So I'm looking here for an A wave to the upside, a B wave to the downside, and then a possible C wave to the upside. Um, that could indeed be finished now. I mean, we reacted to the 38.2 retracement. Another way of calculating targets is that we take the length of the A wave, you know, we go to the low of the B wave, and then it's typically the area between the 100% extension and the 1.618 extension, and we are basically in the middle. So. Yeah, I mean, unless we now fire above the, well, today's high and above the 47.8 cent level, I will not confirm that a low is in. If we do that, then our alternative count will come into play. Don't forget that we um, said that from a bullish point of view, there could be the possibility of a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup here, um, where we would bottom in three waves, which we've done now, but it would need to prove it to me. Yeah, I wanna see five waves up first, and then if we get a, th a three wave pullback, that could then pro be, pro uh, be another trade setup. But for now, the, the current spike doesn't warrant a more bullish outlook immediately. And um, it doesn't suggest yet that the trend has changed. I need to see a little bit more, okay? So from that point of view, another low is still anticipated. Um, from the current standpoint, if we get another low, what would be a target? So let's say wave four really topped here. Uh, I don't have strong evidence it has yet, but if it has, then a typical target would be, you know, we can take the length of the wave one, we go to the high of the wave four, and then it would take us down to around about 35.8 cents. That's certainly one way of looking at it. Um, ideally, in this particular C wave, we would get another low, another bear market low, but again, we've seen it many times with XRP, the count is morphing because it is highly corrective. I even thought about this entire move. Could this be some kind of a larger triangle pattern? It takes a moment to load here at the moment. But so if we talk about a possible triangle, then we can zoom out a little bit. Um, that really that really is an option to follow because if we now say that this C wave may not lead, I mean, the targets do not lead to another bear market low, I can't really see that anymore as um, just an A wave down, a B wave up with the C wave down, which would ideally make a new low. Um, a possibility that I'm exploring is, and I may change the count to that, is that this here is indeed a W, but the X wave never finished 
the Y wave never finished, okay? So it's very complex. I mean, this is deeply academic what's going on here. It, you know, the XRP chart is just very, very choppy. So it morphs a lot. Um, but it could be that this X wave is still unfolding as a triangle. And then the Y wave would come later, would lead to this B wave top and so on. But um, that's something I need to think about a little more and we'll probably present that in the next video. But until then, we still expect another low as long as resistance isn't broken. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.